students whatever homework is given to you you have to submit it on the very next day between 8 am to 1 pm to the given whatsapp number and it is compulsory to submit your homework as your attendance will be marked on the basis of your submission welcome students this is nitin sharma and today we are going to start with our exercise 3.3 okay so our question number one is use the bar graph to answer the following questions okay we have given the bar graph we have the number of students and their pet animals okay so first pet animal is the dog and the number of students who like the, or jisne pet animals rakha hua hai aise kitne students hai 8 second cat mein jo hai wo kitne hai 10 then rabbit rabbit mein kitne present hai two students Then hamsters, hamsters में है आपके फाइव and others are three. Okay, so these are the number of students in a vertical line and in horizontal line we have pet animals. So according to this, we have to answer the following questions. First one is which is the most popular pet? सबसे ज़्यादा popular pet कौन सा होगा? तो सबसे ज़्यादा जो students pet animals हैं तो उनमें सबसे ज़्यादा popular होगा. So in first question We have cat is the popular pet. So cat is the most popular pet. Cat is the most popular pet. Then next one is how many students have dog as a pet? How many students are there? There are total eight eight students. So eight students. Have dog as a pet. कितने students का एट students के पास dog जो है वो as a pet है ठीक है Okay. Now our next question is the number of children in the six different classes are given below. हमें जो number of children given है six different classes के जैसे फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन्थ एंड टेन देन वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा ऑन अ बार ग्राफ तो हमें इसको किस पे बताना है बार ग्राफ पे शो करना ओके सो बार ग्राफ में आपके दो एक्सिस होती है वन इज एक्स एक्सिस एंड सेकेंड वन इज वाई एक्सिस देन हमें यहां पे एक स्केल चूज करना पड़ता है बिकॉज यहां पे आपके आ जाएंगे क्लासेस And here we have number of children. अब number of children में zero, one, two, three, four, five, six इस तरह लिखेंगे तो आपके जो maximum number है हमें कहाँ तक लिखना पड़ेगा? One thirty five तक लिखना पड़ेगा. So इसी चीज को avoid करने के लिए हमें क्या लेना पड़ता है? एक suitable scale हमें choose करना पड़ता है. तो यहाँ पे हमें scale की value लिखनी पड़ेगी, जो आपका one unit का जो square रहेगा. यहाँ पे जो one unit आपका जो होगा काम That is equal to one unit is equal to. अब कितने भी ले सकते हैं? Suppose अगर हम ten ten का भी लेते हैं, तो ten में आपके thirteen तक line रहेगी. और अगर आप twenty twenty का भी ले सकते हैं, twenty five का भी ले सकते हैं. According to your convenience, so one unit हम यहाँ पे ले लेते हैं. One unit is equal to twenty five children. मतलब कि एक unit में आपके कितने आ जाएंगे? Twenty five children. Means आप twenty five twenty five का लेते हैं. That is zero. This is twenty five. This is fifty. This is seventy five. इस तरह से twenty five twenty five. Then hundred. Then one twenty five. Okay. Then one hundred fifty. Okay. So here we have classes. So in fifth class we have the number of children one thirty. Where is one thirty five? In between one twenty five and one fifty, so one thirty five. According to your convenience, आप यहाँ पे ले सकते हैं. This is your class fifth. Okay, this is fifth class. The next one is in sixth class. Sixth class is how many number of children there are? One twenty. So one twenty is between hundred and one twenty five. So this is 120. We have just below 125. So this is your 
plus 6. Then we have class 7 and the number of children are 95. So 95 is just below 100. So this is 95. This is class 7. Okay. Then we have class 8. Class 8 we have 100 students. So this is exactly around 100. So this is class 8. Then we have class 9. In class 9 we have number of children is are 90. So 90 is just below 100. 90 is this. Okay this one is 95. So lower than this. This is class 9. The last one is class 10. In class 10 we have 80 students. So just below this. This is class 10. Okay. In class 10 we have 80 students. So this is your representation on the bar graph. Then we have to answer the following question. How do you choose a scale? So our scale is 1 unit is equal to 25 children. And you can take also through your convenience 1 unit is equal to 10 children, 15 children. Okay. The next question is which class has the maximum number of children? So which class has maximum number of children? Obviously in class 5 we have number of children is 135. So maximum number of children. So class 5th has maximum number of children. Then and the minimum we have to answer and the minimum too. So minimum are in class 10. So in class 10, class 10 has minimum number of children. Okay. They have 80 students. Then on the last question is find the ratio of the students of class 6 to the students of class 8. Class 6 and class 8 ke students are co ratio. So class 6 mein kitne students hai aapke? 120 and class 8. In class 8 we have number of children are 100. So 0 se 0 cancel out. Then 2 6 are 12 and 2 5 are 10. So we have 6 by 5 that is 6 is to 5. The ratio is 6 is to 5. Is the ratio of class 6 and class 8 students? Ka. Okay. Now, our next question is we have given a student whose first and second term marks are given and we have to draw a double bar graph. Okay. So, this is the first term marks and these are the second term marks. So, in first term marks, then we have to draw a double bar graph. Clear? So for double bar graph we have x axis and y axis this is called this is horizontal axis and this one is vertical axis horizontal axis is called x axis and vertical axis is called y axis then here we have to take the subjects subjects then here we have the num numbers clear okay? Or we can say marks. Then in the first term, student get in English that is 67 marks, then 72, 88, 81, and 73. Okay. So your bracket, jo aapka blank rahega, wo hum deta hai. first term mark, first term marks, and lining jo hai. So, we have second term marks. Now, we have to consider the scale. Karna scale. Scale, we can do the same marks. Ke liye, that is, one unit is called one unit is equal to the marks. You can do the same marks. You can do the same marks. You can do the same marks. You can 
बट हम यहां पे कितना ले लेते हैं से वन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू टेन मार्क्स ओके सो दिस इज जीरो टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एंड एटी एटी क्या वो है ये नाइनटी एंड दिस वन इज से हंड्रेड क्लियर देन फर्स्ट टर्म इन इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट वन इज इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट सो स्टूडेंट वॉट सिक्सटी सेवन मार्क्स देन सेवेंटी मार्क्स सो सिक्सटी सेवन मार्क्स इज बिटवीन सिक्सटी एंड सेवेंटी ओके एंड सिक्सटी सेवन सो दिस वन इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टर्म This is sixty-seven marks, and in second term we got seventy. So this one is seventy, just below this, just above this, and this one is seventy. And for the second term marks, we have to draw lines over here. So this is for English subject. Okay. The next one is Hindi. In first term he got seventy two marks. So seventy two marks is between seventy and eighty. Okay, so this is approximate seventy. Then in second term he got sixty five marks. So sixty five is between sixty and seventy. And for the second term, we have to draw these lines. Okay, so these are the marks of Hindi. Similar manner, we have given in maths. In first term, we have eighty-eight marks. So eighty-eight is between eighty and ninety. Then, in second term. We got ninety five marks. So ninety five is between ninety and hundred. And in the second term marks, we have to draw these lines. And these marks are for maths. Okay. Then we have science. In first term, we got eighty one marks. So eighty one is between eighty and ninety. Okay. Something like this. Then in second term he got eighty five marks. So eighty five marks is just about this. And this for the second term marks, so we have to draw lines over here. So this is for science. And the last one is SS. In SS, in first term he got seventy three marks, which is between seventy and eighty. And in second term he got seventy five marks. So seventy five again between seventy and eighty, but just above the previous graph. So these are the marks for tests. Okay. So we draw the double bar graph. Then we have to answer the following questions. First question is: In which subject has the child improved his performance the most? कौन से सब्जेक्ट में जो चाइल्ड ने परफॉर्मेंस सबसे ज्यादा की ओके सो इन फर्स्ट टर्म एंड सेकेंड टर्म देखते हैं इंग्लिश में सिक्सटी सेवन से उसने सेवनटी यानी कि कितने नंबर उसने इंक्रीज किए हैं थ्री मार्क्स उसने इंक्रीज किए हैं इन हिंदी द रिजल्ट गोज डाउन दैट इज सेवनटी टू टू सिक्सटी फाइव यहाँ पे तो उसका रिजल्ट कितने से डिक्रीज हो गया है सेवन मार्क्स से सो दिस इज माइनस सेवन से वो डिक्रीज हो गए इन मैथ्स He got for in first term eighty eight marks and in second term ninety five marks. So improved seven marks. Seven marks improved here. Yeah. In science eighty one to eighty five. So he improved four marks. And in SS seventy three to seventy five. So improved two marks. So I have to tell you, the most improved in which subject? So the most improvement is in seven marks. And which subject is this? This is the math subject. So you have to write it. The child improved the most in the math subject. Okay. Then second one is in which subject 
इज द इंप्रूवमेंट द लिस्ट सबसे कम इंप्रूवमेंट किसमें हुआ है तो सबसे कम इंप्रूवमेंट आपका किसमें हुआ है टू मार्क्स में दैट इज द सब्जेक्ट एस सो इन सोशल साइंस द चाइल्ड इंप्रूवमेंट इज द लिस्ट दैन लास्ट वन इज हैज द परफॉर्मेंस गो डाउन इन एनी सब्जेक्ट क्या किसी सब्जेक्ट में परफॉर्मेंस डाउन गया है सो यस वी हैव हियर दिस माइनस इन हिंदी सब्जेक्ट यस इन हिंदी परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ चाइल्ड गॉन डाउन हिंदी सब्जेक्ट में उसका जो परफॉर्मेंस है वो डाउन ओके okay?